going through a rut in life, well, this video is for you. Yeah. Now this right here is not a preview of what the album gonna bring you. Or nothing like that. Sharing things I think quietly with those that admire me. Remember MTV Diary or something like that. I wear my heart up on my sleeve and I bleed for you. So I literally just came back from Iceland where I was outside living like a king having the best time of my life If you ain't see that video definitely go check it out. It's a movie, but I'm back and literally last week I put up on threads I said does anybody else go through a period in times where you're high off life like life is Life is good, you know, and then the next week, you know life is down. You're in a rut, you know kind of depressed You know, it's like a back and forth. Well, yeah, that's us. So, you know, if I've learned anything time and time and time again, I have a couple ways in which I get out of it. So let me help you help me help you help. You know what? That don't even matter. The first thing that has helped me is, first of all, understanding the problem and then writing that down. So the sample was yelling, loop me. The mood is set. We got our journal and you already know the rest. Voice over. Cue the voice over. Note to self, note to self. Instead of avoiding the things that I currently do feel, whether it's out of fear or just not wanting to face reality, today I'm choosing to accept my problems and anything that's in a way for just what it is. I feel like I have so much to do with so little time and honestly, it's overwhelming. I just gotta continue to remind myself that life is a marathon, not a sprint, to keep on pushing and you got this. And journaling is done. I know my women, y'all hip to this, but men, especially black men, it doesn't make you any less than, it doesn't make you weird or anything like that. You know, just for transparency, you know, me, myself, I suck at emotions, I suck at, you know, feelings, I suck at all of that. So, you know, journaling with a mix of Party Next Door, Brent Fayez, and Bryson Tiller, you know, it helps me. But, you know, I consider myself as somebody where I love to bring good energy. You know, I love to always be up, you know, high. When people think of Ron, I want people to think of, you know, Ron is a cool dude. He's always up, he's always happy, friendly, you know, that type of stuff. And... You know, I have friends that I can vent to. I have, you know, people who support me that I can vent to. But even though I have that, I just feel very alone a lot of the times. And I just tend to self, you know, medicate, if that makes any sense. And just writing down my problems and writing down what I'm currently go through, it helps me a lot. So journaling will forever be a part of me and it just makes everything so much easier. But with that being said, we had to wake up early. We got a lot of things to do. And um, what will we like? What would a vlog be without a gym session? You feel me? So women, put your leggings on. Make sure it's hugging the thighs. And men, get your hoochie daddy shorts, cause we out of here. Difference is I'm throwing four, he throwing fifty. Lord forgive me, bitch is saying you a rapping nigga. Listen, save the judgment for your mama, okay? If you ain't never put a pre-workout in a wine glass, then you too bougie for me. You feel me? They call me young elegance. Ain't you supposed to tip more? I don't see no pussy, baby. Ain't you supposed to strip more? Confessions of a cheap ass nigga. But I finally put my mama in that E-class nigga. And I told her quit a job or hold your horses. If my next album flop is back to the post office, both of us shit. They saying that's a real possibility. The thought alone is killing me. I think I need to let it go. I need to let it go. I think I need to let it go, let it go, let it go. You know, if you were OG and you was watching for the last couple months, you know this is the gym where it all started. This is the gym where I came in and I dropped my chapstick and the dude handed it to me. You know, it's a throwback. But uh yeah, this brings me to number two, what helps me get out of rut, is going to the gym, man. Like, I wanna say when I was like 19 or 20, that's when I initially started because I was skinny. I was skinny to the point where like my family used to make fun of me. I'll even put a picture up on the screen. Don't laugh. But it was to a point where I was working out to look good, to not be skinny anymore. And then over time, I just started working out for my mental health. You know, it done got me through a lot of breakups. It got me through a lot of heartbreak and all that. You know, so the gym is always going to be on my list to, you know, things that I do to get out of a rut. It's to a point where now, if I go a day without the gym, two days without the gym, I feel 
weird, you know? But I'm doing a upper body workout. I'm using an app called Shred. It gives you a list of workouts just in case you don't feel like doing your research. It's like an own low mini uh, personal trainer. I low key, I sent these dudes a DM because they follow me and be reposting my stuff all the time. I said, yo, you trying to collab? Because I put hella people on this app. And he left your boy on red. That's insane. Now I gotta be petty. I'm about to start blurring out the app every single time uh, I put it in the video. Matter of fact, when do y'all do app development? I'm trying to start my own little workout app. Yeah, team petty. But let's get into this workout because we got an hour before we gotta go get our hair done. So let's go. Cause nothing even matters. Anticipating rain, I can't make the same mistakes again. Them 90s niggas rate the game And left us with a battered and bruised bitch with a few kids The pussy loose but the truth is I love her though she ain't perfect but who is Ho saying Cole you is Don't be silly ma cause really I Just a born sinner The opposite of a winner Cold summer I predict another winter Cause I'm Fenta Drop knowledge like a five percenter Fuck the builder bird nigga Sean guy sent you Rhyme with the skill as if Nas winter College on scholarship met pocket set up I'm not gonna lie When I do move This is the only thing that I'm gonna miss Like hold up just look at this You see my people They over here running Hey get your workout in But like I was saying high key This is the only thing I'm gonna miss about living in the city Is how free you can be Everybody mind their business in LA, I ain't doing this. Hell nah. I'm low key trading the birds for the nonsense, but I'm low key running late. I got 30 minutes to make this appointment. So. <sighs> they fucking lie, sisters. Puffing on swishers. What's up, my line? Every time I drop, I get the neck popping like LeBron swishes. K told me kill you, and I gotta respect my mind wishes. <laughs> when I let go, that's how my mind switches. Uh, young sex symbol uh, back in action. You feel me? I go to LA in a couple days, so I had to get my shit right. <laughs> Shout out to Juan, because every single time I come here, I be on black people time. Finally back in the house. My bad for earlier. You know, you know, I was down bad. Here it was woofing. You know, it was giving, give me a hug. Now it's giving. Give me your social security number and your bank log and, and your pet. Never mind. <laughs> but we got a few things on our itinerary today. Man, I literally leave for LA uh, Tuesday. So in a couple of days, I'm literally trying to be Superman. I'm just filming, 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 filming. But we're faced with some obstacles. So if you see my Iceland vlog, you know that I broke my camera down bad. The, the whole screen is just hanging off. It's terrible. And then yesterday, right? Yesterday, bruh. Tell me why. I was in Whole Foods, right? I picked up the tripod, right? And then I'm sitting here trying to fold it up, right? And then my whole camera fell off the tripod. It never happens. And now look at it. Down bad. It doesn't even work. So this is a $1,000 mistake that we have to fix. Terrible. I'm getting dark. Why the sun keep on coming in and out? But yeah, we're going to go there. Um, it is what it is, you know. I was talking to a spiritual girl the other day, and she said it's a retrograde and a mercury, or the mercury and a retrograde. I don't know. I don't know what they be talking about. All I know is she said the world is tripping. The universe is down bad, and it's not my fault. So that's what we're going to say today. But, you know, we finna dip out of here. But before we do that, who will I be not to give y'all a quick little ooturu? You feel me? All right, y'all, y'all know how we stepping. Let's get shit into it a little quick. Ooh, dude, you know? Starting off with the pants. Got them from Cecilia, LA. I'll link them. I'll put them in the description. I ain't going to gatekeep. That's one thing I ain't going to do. I might gatekeep the edit sometimes, but I ain't going to gatekeep the, uh, the fit. Shoes, we got them courtesy of eBay for the uh, free ski. You feel me? And then we got a little tank just to break it up a little bit. Got the uh, prestigious garment shirt. You know, you see me. I put up the other day, I was like, uh, if you wear a fit and it's fire, but you don't get it off, like, will you rewear it so you can then get the fit off? So my question, that's, that's my question to y'all. Is it a yes or no? Because I ain't going to cap. I look fly today. Oh, my mama, I look good. I look fly. <laughs> and I'm going to get this fit off again. So it is what it is. But let's hurry up and uh, get this pain and suffering over with. We love that. Yes. Had to use this tight 18 to 55 for the last two days. 
Uh, currently down a thousand dollars. Disgusting. I don't think I've ever seen uh, like the actual glass get broken like. Yeah, that. cause literally, so it was on the new one. It fell, yeah. but it fell on a slant, so it like. Ooh, we back on a wild lens, and I just got me an acai bowl and a coffee, even though I got it at my house. But I don't know what it is. I feel like when people make it for you, it tastes better. But this brings me to my next point. Which is number one, your boy getting swole. Look, I should have starving me and not having no food might have been the best thing that didn't happen to me. I'm looking cut. You know, I was 220. Now I'm about like 205, 208, one to two. Skin, listen, I know this is, I'm off topic, but I've been, you know, I've been, I've been making progress. And number two, if you get an acai bowl, just make sure that, you know, you eat it right away because right now it's giving soup. It's giving juice but if you're living under a rock and you don't follow me on instagram if you aren't i'm gonna plug it right here a lot is going on i gotta film a couple videos i got due dates for brands um and then i gotta look at apartments because i had one locked in but it turned out to be actually bad according to the one star reviews and i refuse to leave the burbs and what i got going on to go live in la and you know be around a bad environment so yeah i just feel like you know Iceland was a good vibe. It was a nice, you know, just escape from reality. But I came back and my world just went, ah, smacked me. So one thing that I've realized over time is that whenever my world is just going so upside down, it's usually because I don't have a control over things. I feel my best whenever I'm waking up at 6 a.m. You know, whenever I have a strict routine in place, I feel my best self. So... You already know what we finna do. We finna organize a little bit, clean this apartment up. I just feel like when you're organized and when you have a clean environment to especially work in, like everything just go by so much smoother. But let's bust down this uh, acai juice bowl. Ugh, disgusting. Look at that. <coughs> Pain. Let me switch it now. Back to Hell's Kitchen now. Up in Hover office like he the fucking principal. Put me in with Stargate. That shit was like detention now. Just telling my story so this ain't my intention now. Drop a couple hits and all the dummies pay attention now. A shame when you learn the ins and outs of the game and reminisce on Lil Jermaine in the South. Rapping out loud with all the niggas that's cool to you. Just to realize that all them niggas was fooling you. And they ain't who they say they were. Talk about the streets, but nigga, they ain't really where they were. Acting just like they, they were. But who am I to judge? That's neither here nor there. Just know I know my nigga. I just like being aware. If I had one wish, I would fuck 10 to men. At the same time, and put name tags on their titties so I don't get their names wrong. Screaming game on. Like Wayne's World, that just came on. I'm rambling now. Y'all, I am in the midst of bribing my sister. I'm telling her to compile a list of like ingredients because I want to do a cooking video to Mariah Carey. Shake it off. Cause you love it ain't the same. And you keep on playing game. Y'all ain't asked for a, a singing acapella lesson, but I'm going to give it to you anyway. Like, you know I'm here to say I got to shake it. Yeah, if you know, you know about that song. If you don't, then clearly, you know, it was before your time and you wasn't outside. But I want to do a cooking video to that. But um, every single time I do a cooking video, in the midst of like trying to just, you know, set up so many camera angles and stuff like that, I'd be tired and I never eat the food. Plus, I'm going away to LA. So I want to do like a like a dope video where at the end, like I give the food away because it'd be a bunch of like homeless people. Oh, what the hell? Bro, y'all be knowing them, uh, them big bugs that be like jumping like they came from like Asia or something like that. Bro, I didn't even know bugs to get up here. It's a 40th floor. But I'm gonna do that because there's always homeless people that be outside and I feel like it would just be like a nice uh, gesture. So I'm gonna do that. But we just got done cleaning, organizing and all that. I feel like my life be the most chaotic when I don't have everything put together. And I feel like one of the main things that you can control firsthand is just doing simple things like organizing your space, cleaning your apartment, cleaning your work area, whatever it is. And I've been recently using this uh, to-do list where it's called Microsoft To-Do. You can structure your day, boom, 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 boom. And you can also, if you wanna be freaky about it, you can uh, structure your whole month. I can't, I couldn't do this. This will give me uh, anxiety, but yeah, it's just nice having things in front of you where, you know, you can just jot it down and then cross it off as you do. Because like me, if you have ADHD like myself, it's just so easy to get lost in a day. And it also holds you accountable 
if you don't get everything done. But this weather is ghetto, you know? It keeps raining on and off and being in this apartment all day is low key giving me depression. So we're gonna go to the last thing that I do, which is adding some self care into your routine. You know, whether it be getting your favorite food, relaxing somewhere, spa day, whatever the case may be. It can even be something simple as getting a haircut. Like, I don't know if you saw, but earlier I was a little, I was mildly depressed. But a simple retwist, you know, a little shape up, it got me right. Now I'm shining again. <laughs> but yeah, man, let's go downstairs. Luckily, we've been blessed and uh, we're bougie. So we have a bar and a pool downstairs. So let's go. Just to say a few words to this bitch named Summer. Juno make four years since I gave you my number. The warm up drop that got hot. You called it a classic. And J drop auto tune. You wanted them back. Shit, play my position. And guess who thought the bar was open and is now salty? Yeah, me. Insane. I forgot, I think they're open from like Tuesday to like Saturday, something like that. Thought I was gonna be sauce with the mimosa and the Sauvignon Blanc in my hand. I guess not, but yeah, I think I'm gonna just chill and take today in. Like I've legit only been here like a total of like maybe eight or nine times and I've been here for almost a year, which is insane. Like I don't know if y'all know, but like Living in like a high rise building was like one of my goals. I did an apartment tour like a month ago and people were like, why won't you just buy a house? Why won't you just buy a house? First of all, mind your business. Second of all, like let me cross certain things off my bucket list, bro. Life is short. Like let people experience certain things that they want to experience. But I don't know, for me, I'm taking a few days where, you know, you kind of just sit back and have a self-care day, whether it's getting your nails done, whether it's, you know, getting a massage, whether it's doing anything that kind of just puts you in like a relaxing mood. And my fellas, like, I really want y'all to start doing that because like, I know back when me and a few homies used to do it, I remember this is like, this was like at the peak time of like the little Instagram daily vlogs, right? People would be like, well, if you were, if you're gay, just say that just because you want to treat yourself to certain things like people especially men like we got to do better and like just open up to like certain things outside of our element even when i did that little massage um uh in iceland the water massage and it was given to me by a dude bro i just chilled <laughs> and relaxed like self-care is a thing like allowing yourself to just like really reset and just like recenter with yourself really you know changes your whole mood and it really gets you out of a dark place by itself like i can't count how many times like i've been quote unquote depressed when it got a massage when it got a little haircut and was cool the next day but really allow yourself just to have at least like one day throughout the week or at least like a few days throughout the month just to recenter and allow yourself to you know just rebalance because it definitely goes a long way but i think i'm in this vlog i got too much stuff to do should i should i jump in this pool y'all it's been a little minute. You know, I ain't got my Hoochie Daddy shirts on. I got these baggy Jones on, and I don't know if I want to do it or not. <sighs> it's been a long time coming this thing between you and me. I can't let it go. I can't let it go. I think I need to let it go, let it go, let it go. They say I need to let it go. Because nothing even matters.